Fame and money doesn't change you. Fame and money takes the energy out of you. It takes the hunger out of you. This world needs to understand that quantity does not mean lack of quality. If you're not selling something you believe in, you're finished. Need motivation? Watch a top 10 with Believe Nation. Top 10, I got a top 10. Got my motivation high for my top 10. Gotta learn from the wise women and men. All my life, like nine to the nine. For my top 10, top 10, nine to the nine. This one's for my top 10. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and I make these videos because chances are you are the most ambitious person in your circle but you know you're capable of more. And you get that push by surrounding yourself with the best. So today let's learn from one of the best, Gary Vaynerchuk, and my take on his top 10 rules for success. Enjoy. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one. Love your process. I think one of the reasons I'm successful and one of the things I try to push a lot of people to think about is, can you love your process? You know, if you're in this, and entrepreneurship is cool now. Yeah. If you're in this. Too cool. Too cool. That's exactly right. If you're in this to flex on Instagram, you're gonna lose. Yeah. And, uh, and I was doing it when it was in the 80s and 90s in America, uh, entrepreneurship wasn't a thing. That was actually when this country people thought it was something bad. And, and America like, too. You're, if you're, you're a bad dude. If you're an entrepreneur, Risk. you're actually a loser yeah. living off of mommy and daddy. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was, you're exactly right. And you and I know this, a lot of the kids don't know. Yeah. Now. It's like being a rapper or an athlete. Yeah. It's incredible for me to watch what's transformed over 30 years. Uh, but I was willing to do it because it's all I could do. I, I, I listen to athletes, actors and actresses, singers, uh, artists, and in their documentaries, inevitably, they're like, well, I just couldn't do anything else. And as an entrepreneur, that's how I think. Rule number two, pay attention to the consumer. One of the biggest reasons, forget about the current way people view Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg's deep understanding of human psyche was the number one reason we connected. I think I'm an extremely good marketer because I think this entire thing that we're at right now is an internal B2B ecosystem and the only thing I pay attention to is the end consumer. I know so little about what's going on here this is, this is literally the first three years I was here, I only did this event. I didn't know anything else. You guys remember, I don't, I st Harriet just joined us to run comms from BBDO, she's incredible. I'm still asking her on the way here. She's like, we were fi final list, what's it called? Shortlist. She's like, we were shortlisted for a bunch of stuff today. I'm like, I don't even know, I, I literally thought it was finalist. Like I still, don't. Adam, yesterday we won a silver thing and I was like, what does that mean? Like I still am so, deeply unaware of what's happening here, not out of audacity, not out of disrespect. I actually love coming here, the vibe, I love hanging with you guys. I love this. It's just that everything I think about is the consumer. It's the only thing that matters. Rule number three, be good enough. Fame and money doesn't change you. Fame and money takes the energy out of you. It takes the hunger out of you. When you're, not hung when you're hungry and nobody's feeding you, but then you get a big 18 burgers and you eat them all. So I'm trying to, I'm always suppressing the good that everybody's chasing, because it keeps me hungry as Let me give you the most liberating thing that I could ever tell an artist or somebody trying to make something happen. If you're good enough, it's gonna happen. I believe in that the most. All the people that are now 53 and they thought they were good enough, they weren't. It wasn't that they picked the wrong manager. It wasn't that the gatekeeper stopped them. They weren't good enough. Especially now, my guy. What gatekeeper? Keep putting shit on SoundCloud and Spotify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you kidding me? 20 years ago, Killy had no shot. There were gatekeepers. There's no gatekeepers. Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud, that's the gatekeeper. And guess what? Even if you run rap caviar, you're not the gatekeeper. You're a mini, mini, mini gatekeeper. How does shit show up on rap caviar? Not that, shit's happened. Then they pick. But you gotta get to that first step. Love your fans unconditionally. Put out music that's in your soul. Shit will happen. Rule number four, balance. I love that shit. 
I love the selfish, selfish, selfish and selfless. I love pulling from opposite directions. I love giving a what some nerd in his basement is saying about me anonymously on your tweet. And I equally love that I don't give a about what anybody thinks, including my parents and my mom. That's the best. Of course, we all do. I'm reading all of it. I'm the greatest. I'm a piece of shit charlatan and everything in between. And I'm just taking it in. And the best part is I'm unbeatable. The people that say I'm the greatest, I'm like, fuck you, I suck shit. The people that are like, you suck shit, I'm like, I'm the best of all time. I'm gonna stick it in your mouth. Like, that's what you have to do. It's the balance. Also, if you want to have more confidence, self-love, self-belief, check out my 254 series. The sign says it can take up to 254 days of consecutive action to build a habit. So I've designed a special free program to help you get it where I will send you an unlisted video to your email for the next 254 days to shift your self-belief forward. The link to sign up for free is in the description below. The reason people aren't patient is they value other people's opinions too much. I think everybody here, If I told them, everything is gonna be okay, you can have everything you want, now, what are you gonna do with your day? I think a lot of people know. I always choose positivity. Uh, I look at other people around me, it's not just about me, that are winning, they choose positivity. I look at the people around me that are not winning, that are not progressing, that are not advancing, they're choosing negativity. Rule number five, understand quality. We started VaynerMedia, you know, it's interesting. My aspirations were a couple things I didn't know. First of all, the first 45 people that worked for my agency had zero days of agency experience. I mean, you wanna talk about a show? Like, we won a million dollar scope from Pepsi, and on the way out, the guy grabs me and says, hey, incredibly provocative, you're gonna get the business. This is incredible, this is what we're looking for. It's 2009. Then he goes, he goes, one piece of advice, I'm like, please, because it was so early. He goes, you need to hire somebody who knows how to make a deck. <laughs> I'll never forget that. And by the way, it took us another three years before we actually knew how to make a deck. We, we, are, the fa- we are the fastest organically grown to a $100 million revenue agency in the industry's history. And we win no RFPs. Like, we're just incapable. Because we come in with a philosophy, we're not willing to like, you know, everybody sells on an idea and it's just not something, you know, we, we, we half pregnant it, we, we flirt with it, but like the truth is we have, a, we have a philosophy, which is a couple things that we believe in that I think are unique. One, we believe that volume of creative is the cost of entry of relevance of the next decade and that we think this world needs to understand that quantity does not mean lack of quality. Rule number six, have a pillar. What do you have to do to be successful? I think people like us um, don't understand how, I think in history people look back at what I figured out as a really important moment, which is it is remarkable that I don't spend any time being Gary Vee. I figured out my model, which was following me. You're not gonna be able to do that. If you take 15 to 20 minutes, and whether we help with that infrastructure, you get an intern, million different things, but if, let me tell you how easy it could be. If you text, I'm gonna just use them, Sal, and be like, this week I wanna talk about cryptocurrency. If Sal shows up downstairs at the bar of your building or at the Starbucks, and that 15 minutes is Sal asking you four questions and you answer them and then that is a LinkedIn post the next day in first person, right. Sal writing it. Yeah. That, is, that is what I've done. I run a 900 person company. I'm not, I don't have time to do, like what I'm doing is, I'm filming this right now. This meta moment might be how a busy executive, said I want it, how a busy executive needs just 15 minutes to be in the content game. This right here is how I figured it out, right? Originally, it was the Ask Gary Vee show where I did have to sit down for an hour and interview Hannah and her six year, you know, at VaynerMedia, right? Now, I've gone much further down to Daily V where I'm just being filmed because I don't even have that hour to do that YouTube show. Then I did that for three years and all of a sudden I'm like, mm, that content's getting stale and weirdly, in the last month, I'm back to doing a little bit of Ask Gary Vee. I'm fighting for that hour. So, but the key is, how do you not destruct yourself? But you need to have something that's a pillar. Rule number seven, triple down on your intuition. Do the shit that got you here. Uh-huh. 
This is when all the new characters come into your life uh-huh. and start telling you how to do it different. I'm getting more ridiculous in my truth right. than ever, the bigger it's getting. Mm-hmm. Like, if all these people know, I love when people got voices like that are not living it. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna give you the commodity advice. You know, like, you've gotta start doing yoga. You gotta start eating granola. Like, do, do the shit that got you here. Well, the stuff that got me here, roughly speaking, would be like fast food, uh, hard drugs, uh, <laughs> promiscuous sex at an alarming rate. Wrong. Okay, not those things? No, no, those <laughs> things are great. <laughs> great. No, wrong. The things that got you here is you were willing to do that in the face of people telling you not to do that. Mm. And so maybe you don't need to eat a fat burger anymore and f- do whatever the f- you want, but you need to triple down on your intuition and do, that's how you f- got here. Mm. Did everybody think it was a great idea to be a BMX website dude? No. Good. That seemed like a very strange idea right. to many people at the time. Right. Yeah. So like, listen, my man, honestly, this is the time you have to quadruple down on what got you here. The thesis, not the direct action. But you don't see people run themselves into the ground. You've never been concerned about that, at people, least for yourself. Pe- people run themselves into the ground when they start wavering from what they are and they start doing behaviors that don't come natural to them mm-hmm. and then they break. And the ones that do, don't. Henry Rollins figured that out. Mm. He would have run himself in the ground if he wanted to be Mick Jagger. Right. And Mick Jagger would have run himself in the ground if he wanted to be somebody else, a politician. When you do the shit that you don't want to do because you think it's the right thing to do because you graduated to the next spot, you lose. Rule number eight, believe in what you're selling. At the end of the day, vanity metrics, whether that's followers on Instagram, whether that's the jewelry or car you drive, no matter what it is, at the end of the day, underneath all of that, there needs to be something tangible and real, and if you're not asking for business, and more importantly, if you're not selling something you believe in, you're finished. The single reason I think I'm a great salesman, as somebody who hates to ask for a sale, is because I deeply believe in what I'm selling. Whether it's the wine I produce, whether it's a sneaker collaboration I have with K-Swiss, whether it's Vayner, I, I sit in this, do you know what it feels like to sit in this room and know, think, know that Vayner Media is the best marketing firm in the world? It's, it's empowering, you, you sell with conviction. And I, I just watch way too many people uh, either be deeply insecure about what they're selling because deep down they know they have no idea what the f- they're selling. I say they don't know what they're selling. That's right? Yeah, yeah. Or, they're just broken. They just so care about money. They know exactly what they're selling. They just know they're selling bullshit and they're preying on people's fears. And I wanna kill those fears. Rule number nine, create. I started the agency with 45 people that didn't work in the industry. I knew nothing about the industry. I read nothing about the industry. So I started Vayner Media. I built a creative shop that I put media in the name. I had both media and creative under one roof and had no idea that it was unique. So we're, we were doing all these unusual things. What it led to is a very large agency that has not played by the industry rules but has driven business results for its clients. So now we do have 900 people globally. We do have the US, LA and New York offices and London and opening up Singapore and very frankly, feel very confident we're about to get a big scope for the World Cup in Qatar and that means Middle East and looking at, you know, South America. So I I think it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I think because of some of the awards we're winning this week, just I'm feeling from the creative class here a little bit of more of a, okay, you can be in the club and I'm laughing. I'm like, I don't want to be in the club. I don't mind to be in the club. But there's only one club I want to be in, which is, wouldn't you want to be a creative that in real life, when you hang out with your friends, people know what you're talking about? Like how many more times do people here want to spend 20 years of their life making TVC that when they talk about it, and they're like, you know, the IBM spot, and their friends and relatives are like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And if they do, it's because they tried really hard to find it. Right? Um, I think that, People want to, I think if you're creative, I think you want it to be seen. I I just don't know what else to say. And I think, you know, what Mike and Adam will tell you if you decide to yap with them after this is after having careers in fancy places doing fancy stuff, it's fun to make. It, you know, think about all the ideas that you guys have had that will never see the day of life. 
like you guys are all 12 years away, <laughs> six years away, four years away from being the final decision maker to actually see something made. Right now you're politicking and, and strategizing on how to convince the two people above you to actually make the thing you believe in. You're not in the creative industry, you're in the internal politicking industry. <laughs> That's why volume will set this industry free. We have interns from day one in ad school being able to see their thoughts in market from the biggest brands in the world. Literally, interns, we have literally interns already in our company that have had more pieces of content seen by humans than some of the people here. That's real. That's going to play out, I hope, for all of you. I want you to be in a place where you get to be creative for real, <laughs> instead of working at a bank and uh, fighting for a half pregnant version of your idea to see the world. And that's why so many of you have to do things on the side, because you can't scratch your itch. And rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip, is be a great speaker. I think about like why was I an F student? Because I promise you, if there was a business school for K through 12, right? Here's my thing, right? If you would have taught me why New Coke failed in 1984 in fifth grade, I would have got an A. Instead, you wanted to teach me how many rings were around Saturn. I'm getting about that, right? The problem is most businesses are not playing the marathon. They're playing the sprint, right? They're not worried about lifetime value and retention. They're worried about short-term goals. Social is not going to excite anybody in this room for what it's going to do to your bottom line in a six month or 12 month period. It just can't happen. See, social media marketing is like going Beyonce on your customers. You've gotta put a ring on it. (laughs) Meanwhile, 99% of the people in here, and I looked at some Twitter and Facebook accounts and some of the peeps in this room, 90% of you, more, but I'm trying to be nice, are treating social media like a one night stand. Most companies are failing in social because everybody in social is acting like a 19 year old dude. They're trying to close on the first transaction. It's a good one, right? Now I've got a special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, it's time for the question of the day. I wanna know, what was your single biggest takeaway from this video, and what is your plan of action for the next week? The science says that when you just watch a video, you get motivated, you get inspired, you have a 35% chance of actually doing something and following through. That, Believe Nation, is not enough. 35% is not enough, we gotta do something. But when you get inspired by watching a video like this, and then you create a plan of action, your chances of following through will jump to 91%. And when you commit publicly, like putting your comment down below with your plan, it jumps to 95%. That's what I want for you. I want you to take action. Your dreams are too important. Your life matters. Your mission has to happen. So, question of the day. Your biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week, put it down in the comments below and I'm gonna celebrate alongside with you. I was always this happy, my whole life because I was raised in an environment and I had the DNA that just did not allow judgment to be part of the variable, that's it. And that's why I'm trying to get everybody else to eliminate judgment. That's why I want you and him to never, ever, ever care about what anybody else thinks because it is game over. Game over. Game over. I'm unbeatable. I'm 100% unbeatable for the rest of my life. I am. Because even if I lose by your standards, I can't hear you. If I lose it all, The next thing that goes through my mind is I can't wait to stick it to everybody when I come back. I'm gonna take all those social media comments and when I come back, I'm gonna make a 10 hour video and be like, let me tell you what the world said about me six years ago. Evan, thank you so much for having a couple seconds and being able to tell the Believe Nation a little bit about Empathy Wines. It means a lot to me that you would take this valuable real estate and and time on your channel to give me some love. It means a lot. It's just good karma points and so you're just, you're awesome, thank you. Believe Nation, uh, if you're into wine at all, go to empathywines.com. My whole career's work was poured into producing a wine that rivaled 40 to $60 wine for 20 bucks a bottle. Uh, I'm just super excited about this subscription-based wine business. You can order three, six, or 12 bottles in subscription form, rosé, white, red. Um, if, you, if you search on Instagram or, or Twitter, you will be blown away. People are literally like, I don't even like Gary Vee, but the wine's good. 
Super proud of the effort. Thanks Evan for the time. Uh, Wishing you guys all happy and healthy. If you want 10 more amazing rules from Gary V, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Do you know what it feels like to be 26 years old, have people that you went to high school with come to your liquor store, look you dead in the face as they pulled up in their BMW and say, oh, 